This man who was traveling to a far country. Yu, yu, he divided the talents. Aligawanya talanta. One five. Moja tano. One two. Moja mbili. And one one. Na mungine akapewa now, moja. The one who was given five. Yule ambaye alipewa tano. Because he had ability to multiply. Alipewa tano sababu alikuwa na uwezo wa kuzidisha. He multiplied more. Alizidisha zaidi. And he got ten. Na akapata kumi. The one who had two. Yule ambaye alikuwa na mbili. He multiplied the two. Aliba, alimara, alifanya ile, ile zaidi. And got more. Akapata zaidi. The one who had one. Yule alikuwa na moja. He did nothing with it. Yeye hakufanya chochote. Nothing. Hakufanya chochote. He hid it. Aliificha. Now that is teaching us something. Hii inatufundisha kitu. One, it is teaching us about responsibility. Inatufundisha kuhusu jukumu. Two, it's also teaching, teaching us about the talent. Pia inatufundisha kuhusu talanta. Because there are so many of you. Sababu kuna wengi wenyu who cannot use even the little they have been given by God. Hawawezi tumia ile kidogo ambayo wamepewa na Mungu. They want the big one. Wanataka ile kubwa. They say some of you pray Father, make me like so and so. Wengine wanaomba wanasema baba nifanye kama fulani. I want to have a bigger ministry. Nataka nikuwe na kanisa kubwa. But even where you are. Lakini hapo ulipo. You are not faithful. Hata wewe si mwaminifu pale. Don't receive big one. Hautapokea ile kubwa. There some of you know say. Kuna wengine wao wanasema. Oh God give me more money. Mungu akinipa pesa nyingi. Nataka mimilioni. Oh, to support your work, God. Ili niweze ku, ku tusaidia kazi yako. To support your work. Give me money, God. Nipatie pesa Mungu. But listen. Lakini sikia. You will never increase in money. Hautazidik au hautapanda kifedha if you can never be faithful in the little you have. Kama hautakuwa mwaminifu kwa ile kidogo ulionayo. So the ability you have now. Kwa hivyo uwezo ulionao sasa is to make sure you handle well what you have that you may increase. Ni kuhakikisha umetumia vizuri ulicho nacho ili uweze kuongezeka. If you cannot be faithful with the little. Kama uwezi kuwa mwaminifu na kidogo, then if you are given 1 billion you can't be faithful. Hata ukipewa milioni moja hautakuwa mwaminifu. So before God will promote you. Kwa hivyo kama Mungu hajakuinua before God promote you kama Mungu hajakuinua what he has given you ile amekupa is not for show sio ya kuonyeshana it is to use it ni ili uweze kuitumia to multiply kuzidisha amen amen you use it unaitumia you increase your life unainua maisha yako are you following unanifuata but if now if you have little money kama uko na pesa kidogo and you are never faithful with it na wewe sio mwaminifu na ile pesa kidogo poverty will never leave umaskini umaskini hautakuacha poverty will never leave umaskini hautakuacha want and lack will never leave kukosa ama ukosefu hautakuacha because you are not faithful kwa sababu wewe sio mwaminifu loyalty is about faithfulness uaminifu ni kuhusu uaminifu loyalty is about what faithfulness uana ni inahusu uaminifu if you are loyal to god kama wewe ni mwana kwa mungu you will be faithful to him utakuwa mwaminifu kwake in whatever he gives you kwa chochote ambacho amekupa you are loyal wewe ni mwana if you are given a department to run umepewa department ya kuongoza or you serve in any capacity ama unatumikia mungu katika ngazi yoyote you have to be faithful Lazima ukue mwaminifu in that service you are giving to God. Kwa hiyo huduma unamtolea Mungu. Otherwise you will never be, be blessed. La sivyo hautabarikiwa na Mungu. You have to be faithful. Lazima ukue mwaminifu. There's a story in the book of 2 Kings. Kuna hadithi katika kitabu cha wafalme wa pili about Elijah. Kuhusu Elisha. Ama na baba Elisha. Elisha was a servant of Elijah. Elisha alikuwa ni kama mfanyikazi wa Elijah. Elisha was rewarded because he was faithful to Elijah. Elisha alipata baraka sababu alikuwa mwaminifu kwa Elijah. Faithful to his responsibility. Alikuwa mwaminifu kwa jukumu jukumu yake. And he was rewarded by Elisha. Na alipewa by ama alilipwa na Elijah. Amen. Amen. He was what? Faithful to his responsibility alikuwa mwaminifu kwa majukumu yake and he was rewarded na alilipiwa the servant of elisha mtumishi wa elisha by the name gehaz ambaye anaitwa gehazi was given responsibility alipewa majukumu 
to serve the man of God. Kumtumikia yule mtumishi wa Mungu. But he became he became greedy. Lakini alikuwa mlafi. He never served. Hakutumikia. So he lost the blessing. Kwa hivyo akapoteza baraka. Because of not being faithful. Kwa sababu alikosa kuwa mwaminifu. And Elisha died with the anointing. Na Elisha akafa na upako. Because there was no faithful man kwa sababu hakukuwa na muaminifu to transfer the anointing to ambaye angeweza kum, kumhamishia so ile upako faithfulness kwa hivyo uaminifu will will open you up to spiritual transfer uaminifu itakufungua kwa uhamisho wa kiroho when you are faithful ukiwa mwaminifu faithful in that which you are given uaminifu kwa ile ambayo umepewa faithful in your responsibility uaminifu kwa ile majukumu yako faithful in your serving god uaminifu kwa kutumikia mungu that will open you up hiyo itakufungua to spiritual blessing itakufungulia baraka za kiroho faithful uaminifu i used to hear uko hapa bado the man who had five talent jamaa yule ambaye alikuwa na talanta tano he made use of it alitumia vizuri he brought more back alileta tano zaidi the one were two yule alikuwa na mbili he made use of it alitumia vizuri he brought more akaleta zaidi the one were one yule alikuwa na moja he hid it alificha he began to complain akaanza kuteta begin to say oh you know people who, who don't perform they are the people inside watu ambao hawafanyi kazi yao vizuri ndio wa kwanza kulalamika they have excuses when you are given some responsibility to do and then what is there of them doing they are telling you about others it means they are not they are watu ambao hawatumii talanta zao ambao hawajukumiki vizuri kila wakati wanalalamika they are not worthy for it how hawastahili ile kazi i want to say something what happened to the man who was not faithful in this nataka nikupe hadithi ya mtu ambaye hakuwa mwaminifu kwa majukumu yake see hadithi i want to show you how oh nataka nikuonyeshe vile see hadithi Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to show you how. Nataka nikuonyeshe vile. The one who had one talent and he began to complain, "Oh master, I I hid my talent because you are man who is not good." He began to give excuses instead of making use of it. Alianza kupeana visababu, "Wewe unajua mkubwa wewe na kunajua na kujua, unapenda kuvuna mahali hujapanda." Alianza kujitetea. Verse number 20. Look at verse 20. Angalia mstari wa 20. I want to finish the, the few minutes. Nataka nimalize kwa muda mfupi. So he which had received five talents came and brought what other five. Akaja yule aliyepokea talanta tano akaleta talanta nyingine tano. So which means any responsibility given to you inamaanisha kila jukumu ulilopewa should grow. Lazima ikue. A true leader. Kiongozi wa kweli. A true leader. Kiongozi wa kweli. Cross is the path. Kiongozi wa kweli anakuisha sehemu yake. Because when you are given responsibility you have to grow sababu ukipewa majukumu lazima ukue are you there uko pale you have to grow it. lazima ukue he said lord thou deliver unto me five behold i have gained beside them five talents more akisema bwana uliniweka kwangu talanta tano tazama talanta nyingine tano nilizi, nilizopata faida next verse mstari unaofuata 22 He also that had received what two talents came and said Lord thou delivered unto me two talents behold I gained two other talents beside them which means the man brought four he had, was given two he brought what four huyu alipewa talanta mbili akaleta zikiwa nne he made use of the talent alitumia talanta zake vizuri he made use of his responsibility alitumia vizuri majukumu yake and he grew it na akaifanya ikakua then verse 24 then he will He which had received one talent came and said, "Lord, I knew thee that thou art a hard man, reaping where thou hast not sown, gathering where thou hast not strayed." And I was afraid, and went and I hid thy talent on the earth. And there was thou and and lo, there thou hast that is thine. And the Lord answered and said unto him thou wicked and slothful servant thou knewest that I reap where I sowed not and gathered where I and I have not strawed thou oughtest therefore to to be put to put my money into exchange and then at my coming I should have received my own with 
with interest. Look at what he told him. Take therefore the talent that that it from him and give it unto him that has taken it. He lost it. Alipoteza. That is when you become faithful. Ukiwa usipokuwa mwaminifu. Into your responsibility. Katika majukumu yako. Into what God has given to you. Kwa ile ambayo Mungu amekupatia. You lose. Unaipoteza. You lose. Unaipoteza. God will give somebody Mungu atainua aliye bora zaidi yako. And he will keep you there. Na wewe atakuwaka atakuacha pale. With your pride. Na 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 with your with your complex. Na na malalamishi yako. He will leave you there. Atakuacha pale na kiburi yako. And he will raise somebody else to be better than you. Atainua mwingine awe bora kukuliko. And you lose what get get to. Na unapoteza ile ambayo alikuwa amekuwekea. So you have to be faithful. Kwa hivyo lazima uwe mwaminifu. Faithful in finances. Mwaminifu kwa fedha. Faithful in responsibility. Mwaminifu kwa majukumu. Faithful in serving God. Mwaminifu kwa kumtumikia Mungu. Make sure you are faithful. Hakikisha wewe ni mwaminifu. Do it the right way. Ifanye kwa njia iliyo sawa. According to the word. Kulingana na neno. Be faithful. Kuwa mwaminifu. The one who was faithful was promoted. Yule ambaye alikuwa mwaminifu aliinuliwa. The one who was not faithful was demoted. Yule ambaye hakuwa mwaminifu alishushwa ngazi. Do you want demotion or promotion? Unataka kushushwa ama kupandishwa? What do you want? Unataka nini? Do you want increase financially? Unataka unataka kuzidishiwa kifedha? Or kipeda? demotion financially? Ama unataka kupunguziwa kifedha? The choice is yours. Uamuzi ni wako. So stop praying God in Christ me in Christ me. Usiombe Mungu niinue niinue. Begin to apply faithfulness. Aanza kuwa mwaminifu. Whatever is committed to you. Chochote umepewa. For serving God. Kwa kumtumikia Mungu. Make sure. Hakikisha. It increases. Kwamba imeinu ime, imezidishi imezidishiwa. It goes further. Inaenda zaidi. People should not be asking asking you what why is this not done? Watu wafai kukuuliza mbona hii haijafanywa? You should know you are responsibility because any promotion that comes for you God makes make sure before you get it he has given you the ability to handle it kabla kuinuliwa kokote haijakuja kwako Mungu anahakisha kwamba amekupa uwezo wa kuimiliki any promotion whatever God will do for you either financial promotion it is it is based on the ability that you can manage kuinuliwa kokote hata kama ni kuinuliwa kifedha Mungu anakisha kwamba ni kulingana na uwezo wako wa kuimiliki. Financially, kifedha, responsibility, ki, you, kijukumu ambayo umepewa God, kwa kumtubikia Mungu. Wherever you find yourself in, popote utakapojipata, it is based on the ability you have. Ni kulingana na uwezo ulio nao. Amen. Amen. So be faith. Kwa hivyo kuwa mwaminifu. Because loyalty is about faith. Kwa sababu kuwa mwana ni kuwa mwaminifu. is about faithfulness. Kuwa mwana ni kuwa mwaminifu. And those who are married, na wale ambao wameoa, if you are loyal to your husband, kama wewe ni mwaminifu kwa mke wako, you will serve him well. Kama wewe ni mwaminifu kwa mume wako, utamtumikia vizuri. Do not be allowed the maid to serve your husband for you. Usimwa usimwache mjakazi amtumikie bwana yako ukiwa pale. Loyalty. Loyalty. Uaminifu in life katika maisha is about being faithful hallelujah amen praise the lord amen so my key word is this kwa hivyo neno langu ni become faithful kuwa mwaminifu if you want to go up kama unataka kuenda juu 